Hello YouTube and welcome. If you have the problem of the windshield wiper coming on by themselves, uh, especially after rain, um, if you're in an emergency, you need to use the car, pop the fuse box and take this relay. I have mine already off because it keeps coming on. And second, drain the water from this compartment here where the windshield wiper motor is at and there's actually a drain plug right here there's a one right here and there is another one on the other side I've already removed them and there is a one right here at this end here mine are both off as you can see you got a lot of trees and they actually look like this and they got clogged up with tree debris and then you got the water uh, getting stuck in there I drained everything if you drained it and the problem is gone then your problem is solved if you drained it and the windshield wipers still keep coming on we gotta do some more work frozen to remove this cover and to remove the plug that goes to the uh, windshield wiper motor and clean it and we're we're expecting to see water so in order to remove uh, this cover you got you got here some clips on some models you got some bolts and before doing removing uh, these clips you gotta we gotta remove the windshield wiper arms so here's our assembly and up close here's our problem there's a little bit of crust there's a little bit of crust there and that's probably the cause so we're gonna go ahead and clean it and put it so there's a little bit of crust there too on so in order to have an idea on how far the water was like that how far it was submerged is pull your uh, cab air filter while you're here gonna replace it anyway and you'll see the line here the marking on both ends inside and out you'll see where the water was that's about mid heights of that box it means that the bottom of that motor was underneath water it definitely was Let's investigate this a little further. That's a Torx bit there. I think that's a T T20. Oops, we lost a bolt or uh, one of them screws. All right. Let's see. Let's see if we can inspect underneath this. We're going to replace it anyway. And let's see if we can fix something. It's been submerged in the water for a good while. One, two, three, we got four of them. Pry the side too. There is a gasket there. And it looks like that gasket cannot keep that safe. So honestly, so there is a problem there. So, so we we let's say we clean the the plug. the The green stuff was really looked bad. 
Um, when I took it off, if you look at the bottom here, there is a little bit of corrosion all the way across here. I don't know if you get the camera to focus, but I get a couple of resistors here. Over little baby ones. All right, I guess this camera probably can focus better. So let's say you have that problem. And let's say you clean the connector, drain the water out of it, and no damage happened yet. You may get away with putting the assembly back and no problem. In my case here, it looks like it's far too gone. Corrosion really took care of this. And this, I think, this is the, f the end of the diagnostics of our problem. I'm going to go ahead and replace this motor and gonna put uh, the assembly in a separate video. Um, and, um, well, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the uh, process of uh, finding out where the problem might be. And hopefully this video will help you. Uh, hit the like, subscribe, and uh, thank you very much.